Okay, guys, Tolf here from Crown Central. Back again, bring our featured fish of the week. So this week, we're talking about one of the most unique oddballs you can get in the aquarium hobby. The freshwater pipefish, also known as the freshwater seahorse. Really unique species. Definitely does best single species tanks, but they are awesome little fellas with great personality and beautiful colors. The freshwater pipefish get their name from their elongated body, which is almost shaped like a long, thin stick. They have a really nice, bright yellow color. And the males especially do to get the nice, bright red line down in the middle of the body. They have the ability to swim both backwards and forwards, just like a seahorse. They are very closely related species. Freshwater pipefish can be easy to keep if you get their water parameters and tank right. Ideally, you do want heavily planted to the setup, Plenty of live plants, plenty of like driftwood and rocks, and plenty of hidey holes for your freshwater pipefish just to rest in and just to take cover. Generally, you do want to keep your pH around seven to eight. You want a little bit of KH as always, just to make sure pH stays nice and stable. The temperature around 26 degrees should be perfect. One of the most challenging aspects of keeping a freshwater pipefish is feeding. In the wild, they do eat a lot of small live things like micro crustaceans, juvenile fish fry. In the home aquarium, it isn't always readily available to get such things. However, you can try and feed stuff like baby brine shrimp and live daphnia, which is quite easy to culture at home. Also, some frozen foods will work quite well to feed these fellas. As a general rule of thumb, you generally want to keep your freshwater pipefish things that aren't super voracious eaters. Anything like some bottom feeders like your corys, bristlenose, any other catfish will work quite well with your pipefish. Anything like some larger, more active tetras generally won't work very well since your pipefish are quite slow and they do need time to see and eat their food. They will generally um, be out cleared for food if you do keep them with other tetras and fast fish. So your freshwater pipefish isn't something that isn't always readily available. So in store at the moment, we do have a few nice specimens, good size, so I'm seeing some really nice yellow color in this lot. But they are a unique oddball. If you are thinking about picking one up yourself, now is the time to do it. We don't always have them. And that's about it. We have all for the um, Featured Fish of the Week, guys. We'll see you next week.